Convicted sex offender Harvey Weinstein in court once again on Friday. A Manhattan judge setting November 12th as the tentative date for his retrial on new sex abuse charges against the movie mogul. This is after a New York court reversed his 2020 rape conviction earlier this year. The Weinstein continues to deny all wrongdoing. Here with us now is legal analyst and trial attorney Misty Maris. Misty, good morning. Thank you for joining us again. Good morning, Hannah. What could be different this time when it comes to the case Manhattan pr uh, prosecutors are currently building? Everything will be different. So this trial will be what's called de novo. That means everything is coming from the ground up. Um, and the evidentiary decisions that the judge makes, what's going to come before the jury, all of that will be brand new with the guidance of the appellate courts. So the reason that this case was overturned was an uncharged conduct that was seen as a pattern or practice went before the jury. The appellate court said that was unfair. It was unduly prejudicial. And so we're not going to see a bunch of people coming in and testifying about a pattern of conduct by Harvey Weinstein. That's the one thing that's going to be different. But everything else, it's going to be coming brand new. It's going to be a whole new trial. Prosecutors haven't publicly identified the new accusers. They're trying to keep certain evidence out of the public eye. Why is that so important, at least at this stage, Misty? Well, if they're going to have new accusers and it's going to be what's called charged conduct, this goes back to what the appellate division said couldn't come into the court. So charged conduct means conduct that actually falls within the statute of limitations, conduct that's going to be a part of the trial. And prosecutors are keeping that out of the public sphere in order to preserve the trial moving forward. So what we're going to see is potentially new accusers whose allegations will actually be a part of the case. Remember that when Harvey Weinstein was tried the first time, much of the evidence related to conduct that was not a part of the actual underlying allegations against him. So this is going to be a very different trial from what we saw the first time around. We've all seen the video, the pictures of Weinstein. His lawyers say he's not doing well in Rikers Island, that he's facing a whole host of medical problems. How is that argument going to play out in court and, of course, to an expected jury? Arthur Idala, great friend of mine, great attorney. But What's not going to come before the jury will be his medical health condition. They will, of course, be able to observe Harvey Weinstein at the defense table. And so the, the jury might observe him and see that he is actually suffering from a health perspective. However, his health condition is not relevant to the case. And so the jury is not going to hear evidence or testimony regarding his deteriorating health. That is something that's more for the penalty phase of the case and might influence where he actually serves his time. I have to ask, how likely would it be for those same alleged victims who already testified that they would have to participate again? What could that possibly look like? It's unfortunate that they're going to have to re-traumatize themselves yeah, yeah. and go back on the stand, but they're absolutely a critical component of the prosecution's case. And I think you're going to see a case that looks very much like the original litigation and the original trial against Harvey Weinstein when it comes to those particular victims. The difference is going to be what is the other evidence that comes in. So their, their testimony and their contribution to the case and the evidence that they present, that's very predictable. The rest of it, that's all up for debate. And that's all up for the judge to determine what's actually going to go before the jury. I have a few seconds left, Misty, but if Weinstein doesn't get retried in New York, he's sentenced to 16 years on a separate rape in California. How can that factor into how the New York trial will play out? So if he gets tried again in New York, he's going to serve that California sentence first. It's called priority. So that California sentence is going to kick in immediately. And if he gets tried again in New York, great, but that sentence is going to come after the fact. Misty Maris, always breaking it down for us. Thank you so much, Misty. Thank you.